NASA does a great job at scanning the cosmos for near-Earth objects. These are celestial bodies that could pose a threat to our planet. It's important for NASA to conduct these tests, as they show us what sort of flight path these objects are on, and if they pose any threat to our planet. One interesting thing to note though is that the majority of these asteroids don't get picked up on until the last minute, meaning that if they're on a collision course we don't have a lot of time to act. Asteroid 2020 PM7 is one example of this, as this asteroid was only discovered this year, and it's been placed in the category of a near-Earth object. The asteroid is currently being tracked by a team of scientists, as they say it will be visible in the night sky tonight. Researchers have said the asteroid is just over 650 feet in length, or 200 meters, and is traveling at around 18,500 miles per hour. Scientists have created a scenario of what would happen if an asteroid of this size was to make contact with our planet, and they say if this was to happen it would easily destroy several towns, and could even go on to trigger several natural disasters. It's surprising because you wouldn't expect an object that's so small to be able to cause so much damage. This is why researchers have said that asteroids that are several miles in diameter need to be monitored carefully, as something of this size could potentially wipe out nearly all life on this planet. NASA said the following in a statement, Near-Earth objects are comets and asteroids that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets, which allow them to enter the Earth's neighborhood. Composed mostly of water ice with embedded dust particles, comets originally formed in the cold outer planetary system, while most of the rocky asteroids formed in the warmer inner solar system between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The scientific interest in comets and asteroids is due largely to their status, as the relatively unchanged remnants debris from the solar system formation process some 4.6 billion years ago. The giant outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, formed from an agglomeration of billions of comets, and the leftover bits and pieces from this formation process are the comets we see today. Likewise, today's asteroids are the bits and pieces left over from the initial agglomeration of the inner planets that include Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. As the primitive leftover building blocks of the solar system formation process, comets and asteroids offer clues to the chemical mixture from which the planets formed some 4.6 billion years ago. If we wish to know the composition of the mixture from which the planets formed, then we must determine the chemical constituents of the leftover debris from this formation process, the comets and asteroids. As of right now it's looking like Earth is safe from many of these celestial bodies. Regardless, although many of these asteroids are still millions of miles away from us, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has labelled these space rocks as being potentially hazardous. This comes down to the fact that at some point in the future this could pose a threat to Earth, meaning it's been added to the long list of other asteroids that will need to be monitored in the future. What's scary though is NASA have said that currently we wouldn't be able to stop the majority of asteroids that come close to our planet, but they are working on robotic rovers that would be able to nudge the asteroids in a different direction. Tests have been mapped out and it's shown researchers that this would be one of the best ways to stop an asteroid from colliding with our planet. Hopefully though this day doesn't come anytime soon. It's not just asteroids that we need to be careful of. Solar storms also need to be monitored. Solar storms in the Earth's upper atmosphere are triggered by massive amounts of energy from the sun. If one of these storms is particularly powerful, it will take out entire power networks across the planet. What's worrying about this is that researchers have said we're not ready for an event like this, and that it would cause chaos. Experts estimate that if a large enough solar storm was to strike our planet, it would cause over 2.3 trillion pounds or 3 trillion dollars in damage. Researchers have said that the sun produced one of its most powerful flares back in 2017. This told them that the sun was waking up and being more active. When the sun throws out these flares they can have effects on satellites and other pieces of equipment. 
sunspots can be seen as darker areas that appear on the surface of the sun. Researchers have said that going back a while ago, a solar flare came from one of these spots. Although this one wasn't massive, the team studying the spot said it sent out harmful radiation into the atmosphere. The researchers labelled this as an M-class, which in terms of solar flares is in the middle when it comes to solar strength. The team did say though this could be a sign that the sun is becoming more active, and that more powerful solar flares could be coming our way. The sun goes through cycles and it's important that scientists understand when the sun is throwing up these flares, as they can affect our communications. As mentioned, if a powerful solar flare was to hit our planet, it would wipe out all of our power networks. As of right now, scientists have said they're keeping a close eye on the sun. Although these types of announcements are worrying, it's important to note that scientists are always running tests. However, even they've noted that sometimes these discoveries can surprise them. It's for this reason that various tests are carried out. Even when they're sure it will miss us, scientists will always carry out more tests to ensure these celestial bodies are not on a collision course. But in some cases, the researchers don't even know they're there. For example, going back in 2018, we saw more than 91 nimbus hits of different asteroids of all sizes passing by our fragile blue planet. The worrying thing is out of these 91 asteroids that passed by us, only 30 of these asteroids were seen coming prior to their passing, and only two of those were discovered one year ahead of the Nimbus event. This means that for more than 89 of the asteroids nearly striking the Earth in 2018, only two of them could have been prevented with our current technology, showcasing just how threatening these large celestial bodies can be. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? And do you think that one of these large asteroids will strike our planet in the future? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.